This week, we sit down and listen to Beethoven's beautiful music while watching the first episode of Your Lie in April. Welcome to One Shot Reviews. What up, what up, what up? What up, what up, what up? What's what going up? on, guys? What's up? How have you been, Lawrence? How you been doing? Oh, <laughs> oh I've been waiting for you to ask. Oh, God. I am doing great. You know why? Why? You got something in the mail. I don't know what it is. Because I have been... Where did I put? Did I bring it downstairs? I did. I've been watching Teen Titans, motherfucker. Oh, really? <laughs> yo, I've been watching episodes every night. I'm still on the first season, as a matter of fact. Yo, the first season gets pretty deep. Like, Slade was in the first season. I don't know why I was thinking, like, Slade was, <laughs> like, in there mad long. Like, right. I don't remember, but I'm about to watch all of them anyway, man. It's been... Dude, it's, I it's, don't... It's, I don't remember anything about the show. I should watch it again. Yo, I remember nah, what, I watched all of it when it was out. But Me I don't, too, but I don't remember. I know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now nah, nah, I'm watching yeah. them back and I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, right. like it, I'm watching them back and I'm like, I like, I remembered Robin was Red X. I remember right. that because that's all in the same episode. Like, right. how he was Slade's apprentice and all that. Like, I, I'm watching them and I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, but... <laughs> But nah, Teen Titans definitely is a grail for me, hundred percent. Just because I, like, I need to rewatch it. It was it's really a really good show. Like yo, like Teen Titans is really a good show. Like right, right. It's just it's just a good show. Like the fighting, like all the stuff in it. Like it's Teen Titans was really dope. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so I've I've been watching that. I got the Red right. Sox on. Um, yeah. I have been. Oh. I got uh, last Friday uh -huh. a job responded Ooh, nice. the studio nice uh, i don't want to i don't want to say it on the air no, you're good you're good that's but dope though a, but it's a triple a studio did they did they say yes or did they say like come in for an interview interview all right what that's dope. so i i, Step I one. sent in my my first phase that's it so uh, and I pray, and I for, I didn't answer the last question because, yo, these oh, new, shit. yo, they mad, yo. <laughs> why is technology crazy now? Like, yo, they're sending interviews now, bro. Like twenty Damn. minute interviews with like the questions. You have two minutes to answer the question, oh, like shit. video cam, like this, bro. What? Yo, bro, they send you an interview uh -huh. video cam where what? you have to record your answers in two oh, minutes. Oh shit. And there's five questions. So instead of going in and having them ask it, I right. guess they're like, yo, bro, that's wasting time. Now we just email them motherfuckers this shit, <laughs> have them record it. And it's just like, some I wonder of them if it's because uh, of COVID or shit. They don't want probably, it, like as many people. Probably. Yeah. Probably. But I also realize, I also feel like this saves them a lot of time. It, oh, yeah, it, for it, sure. It, so it can, also saves them mad time. Out. And the just time they out. could have one person come in and interview, they can have 20 people send an email. Exactly. You know? And you just have to do it within five days. But, right, right. man, and some of them, they give you like 30, like 60 seconds to think of an answer, but you only get one shot. So when, like, oh, I'm like, yo, okay. what the heck? Mm. So I'm out here prepared, mad <laughs> interview questions, like looked Shit. up what I might be asked, right, right, right. prepared all my answers took the test they didn't use no questions that i looked up i was tight i was tight bro i was Damn tight dog. bro i was like yo are you kidding me right that's now i'm funny. out here stumbling i'm like this is gonna look so stupid on the Dude, live that's like funny. <laughs> yo. That's so then and funny. then the last question you know the famous one what uh -huh. was what was uh hold on hold on where is it a yeah. time where you had a technical problem and how did you solve it? And I was like, not this fucking question. I don't know this one off the top of my and head. You're like, every like, fucking week I got to record this co podcast and fucking, I can't get my head headset to work. It's, it's like, yo, oh, no, nah, they would have <laughs> laughed at me if I used that. <laughs> they would have been like, no, nah, that don't count. Yeah, right. But, um, uh, but yeah, so hopefully that goes good because I need to be out here getting my own money, man. I'm out here. I feel you, Cool, bro. Damn. Oh my God. I'm trying hey, to be like you. One, I'm trying though, to be like that. you, Chris. I'm don't, trying to be like you and don't. just able to buy everything that I want to fucking buy. Like I feel like, like, just... like this dope mouse pad I just got of KDA and it's got the RGB you, around you it. You motherfucker. Dope. Like, see, I just wanted just to be able to buy everything I want. Just like, well, you'd be buying the, see, the you say the that. most interesting trinkets and everything. See, you <laughs> say that, but you're gonna be just as broke then as you are now, just with more shit in your room. That's the only difference. You'll just have more <laughs> shit, but you'll have the same amount of money. 
<laughs> that's true. You're gonna that end up buying true. a storage unit like I did. Jesus. Ugh. Fuck, dude. So, but yeah, that's 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 what I've been. That's dope. Good luck, bro. I hope it works out for sure. That's dope. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been out of for bad fucking long. But <laughs> what about you? Have you been watching anything? Uh, I started watching yesterday Kake Guri, I think is how you say it. It's that gambling one on Netflix. I don't know if you've seen it. No. Nah. Uh, it's actually dope. The whole show is about gambling and like a high school. It's two seasons, 24 episodes. I started it yesterday and I have like five episodes left. I'm going to finish it tonight. Uh, I saw Suicide Squad yesterday, the new one. That was uh, much better than what I thought of. Of course... I swear off DC movies. I'm like, fuck DC. I'm not watching their shit anymore. They suck. Fuck that. I'm not giving them the, my money. And then all of a sudden, Rotten Tomatoes is like, yo, like 90 something percent. And everyone's like, you gotta see it. The movie's fire. I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm not seeing it. Blah, blah. And then I just finally, I gave in. It's too many people told me. It was actually, it was actually pretty good. It was, it was Wait, what was it? The new Suicide Squad movie. The one that came out uh, a week oh, or two ago. Two weeks ago. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna look it up now because right. I was about to do the same. You're looking up off IMDb. I mean, Rod Tomatoes. What's IMDb say? Ah, uh, we're gonna find also, out. Also, James Gunn directed what? it, and you know he does good stuff with Guardians. So I was like, "Fucking fine, I'll watch it." God damn. What's it say? What's the IMDb rating? 2021. Margot Robbie's in this yeah, one too. Yep. Five uh, seven point five. That's yeah. pretty good. I would have All given right. that a seven point five. Also, the villain, great. I loved it. Uh, I won't ruin it for the you. Raw tomatoes be ninety percent. Relax. Yeah, it'll be like critics ninety percent. Like uh, that's what. <laughs> like in like fan base twelve. I'm like what? Like yo, that's why I, I yo, bro. I don't be going off of Rotten Tomatoes anymore. I'd be like, oh, what is it? All right, let me go plug it in my sh-. like nah. Let's but see. IMDb, a seven point five is good. That's pretty good. Let's see. Rotten Tomatoes gave it. Let's see what they said. Oh, oh, okay. So Rotten Tomatoes critics ninety one, audience eighty three. Mm, that's pretty good. Okay. No, normally you get a critic score of like ninety something, and the audience is like twenty something, and then that's when you go, okay. oh, okay, the movie sucks. But when the audience is also saying, hey, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> it was, dude. There are a lot of funny actions in it. Like, a lot of funny shit. The action was good. The villain was fucking great when you finally meet the villain. And Weasel busted. Holy shit. Did you see the trailer for that? That fucking Ah. movie? There's literally a scene where they're, like, they do the classic, like, everyone's running on, like, walking on the tarmac. And you have all... One of them is literally just this weasel in human form. And it looks like a fucking cracked out, like, missing teeth, fur everywhere. It looks like it'll fucking murder you for coke like it cracked out of its fucking mind and he is the best character in the whole movie he's great <laughs> he's so fucking funny he's great uh uh interest ilba is in it too and he does yes he's he's actually really good because he's like he's like if you were me we're in that thing and every time something weird would happen we'd be like fucking jesus christ that's him every single th- they'd be like oh yeah and that's weasel and he's like what the fuck fuck dude and like they'll be like oh that's the big shark dude and he's just like what the f- what and then, <laughs> and then they're giving the briefing and he's like so we're just gonna die and he's like they're like yeah and he's just like what the-? and then someone says something stupid and he's just like jesus christ <laughs> like the whole it's movie so that's him the whole fucking movie just every he's just like what the fuck dude <laughs> he, he's great he's killing it uh but it was a good movie. I liked it. That That's the last DC movie I'm going to watch. Because they actually showed a trailer for the new Batman movie. Nah. Nope. It looks trash. Wait, wait, wait. What you mean? New the Batman? one with uh what? with the dude from Twilight. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what's it called? The Batman. What's it called? I think oh, it's the just, Batman. Yeah, it looks. Yo, Chris, why do they so do that? Because like, they fucking why hate you... us, dog. They hate us. I don't understand though, like, because DC doesn't know what the fuck it's doing. This is the like ninth Batman origin movie in ten years. Like, but why, why don't they? Why don't they continue off of like the good one? 
I don't I don't because, get it. So that Christian Bale one is a trilogy oh, he and he ended it. So at the uh, end when he's eaten with Catwoman and they're eating and Alfred walks by like that was the end of that. Like that's done. So that's why they keep making new ones and they fail and they're like uh, try again. Try one of these will have to work and it's like no, just fucking stop. So yeah, he did say he wasn't doing it no more. Christian Bale did say that, right? Yeah, he said yeah he no, was that, it was that trilogy. Even the director, Why, uh, bro, what, I get it, yeah. I get it, because they don't want to, they don't want to fuck up their like good. It was so their... good that trilogy was perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then was DC hard. was like, "Hey, let's do what hard. Marvel's doing, but instead <laughs> of taking twelve years to build this beautiful thing, uh, we have two years to do it." It's like why? Nah, negative, negative, negative. At this at this point, DC's just like, we have so many fans, people will come and we'll make our money back. So let's just churn out the movies. That's pretty much what's happening with DC right now. But you know what what's not happening with that? You're lying, April Lawrence. Why did you, why did you tell us that? Because it is a Japanese romantic <laughs> drama, man. Yo, we're getting better at this. Yo, next time we good. should be finishing each other's sentences and all that shit. Next time <laughs> you're just gonna be talking, Excellent. and I'm just gonna finish your sentence. And you're just gonna, it's gonna be great. <laughs> your lie in April is a Japanese romantic drama <clears throat> manga series written and illustrated by Naoshi Arakawa. The manga was serialized from April 2011 to May 2015, and follows the story of a young pianist named. I think it's Kosei, Kosai Arima, who loses the ability to hear the piano after his mother's death. An know. anime television series adaptation by A1 Pictures aired from October 2014 to March 2015 on Fuji TV's Noitamina Block. No Fuji TV's Noitamina Block. I think that's N-O-I-T-A. just a TV channel or something. Yeah, it sounds like it's like fucking yeah. <laughs> the manga series received mixed reviews with several critics praising the plot and characters while also criticizing the artwork wow in contrast the anime adaptation received mostly positive reviews from many critics for its plot animation and soundtrack while <clears throat> when adapting the series into an anime director kosei ishiguro stated that they wanted the series to appeal to more than just anime fans. As a result, they chose the band's Goose House and I think it's Waki. I think so. Yeah. Perf- w a c c i to perform the opening and ending themes respectively, since each band had little to no prior experience with anime. Cool. All right. Yeah. I can fuck with that. Hell yeah. The first opening theme song is Hikaru Nara by Goose House in the. F- First ending theme song is Kira Meki by Waki. <clears throat> While the manga received a bit of criticism, the anime adaptation was largely acclaimed by critics. Chris Beveridge from TFP praised the plot of the adaptation, ultimately stating plainly said, the series moved me. I feel like you don't have to say a little more than that. <laughs> Matt from the Matt from the Takeobon. Matt from Takeobon also praised the plot for succeeding in giving them an emotional impact. Demelza from Anime UK News also praised the plot, calling the series a masterpiece when telling the story. Saron Martin, yo, bro, stop making up names, bro. <laughs> like, Dude, yo, I gotta make stop. it look legit. <laughs> yo, I'm like, yo, bro. I gotta make Theron this shit look legit. <laughs> Martin from Anime News Network also gave the plot praise while also noting it may not be as emotional to every viewer. Which I have a quote that I'm going to talk about that plays into that sentence that he just said. Okay, yeah. go ahead and all right. So, hell Would yeah. You... So, so yeah, I I've seen this show before. I've seen the whole thing. I fucking cry at the end of it like a little bitch every time. Uh, essentially, the show opens up with a uh, cute little pop song. You know, it, it shows up. You have a kid and he's playing. Do you know what song that is? Without looking at my notes, Lawrence, what song he's mm. playing on the piano? No. Can you, do, I was not paying do you at attention. least know the, the composer? Could you take a guess listening to it? I was not paying attention, so <laughs> I wouldn't even. Like, no, 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 no. This man I was, was like, I, I had that shit on mute. No, no, no. <laughs> that music. just completely slipped my mind. No, like, I, I don't. 
It was uh so that kid he was eleven years old and he was playing Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, which I at, wouldn't have got that at all. No, at eleven years old, that means you're a fucking prodigy. Holy shit! Because that song, if you listen to it, holy shit, is that fucking hard to play? That song. It, like, okay. It's a, it's a crazy song to play. Uh, cause I mean, Beethoven wrote it, so you already know it's crazy. And then to be eleven years old and fucking yeah, 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 nailing yeah. that shit, like holy, holy shit. Uh, but he actually ends up. You find out that that's actually a uh, what do you call that? Uh, not a back, a flashback. And it's and it's at time when he was eleven, he's playing, it, and then he just ends up having a mental breakdown during the concert. Uh, and you find out as the show goes along that his mother died right before that concert. And he had a mental breakdown, and now he just he can hear everything except for when he plays the piano. Like it just doesn't register in his mind anymore when he plays it. So it's been three years later, and uh, yo, how funny was it when he was sitting there and he's like writing? The, he's got the headphones in, and he's like writing notes, and he's playing the piano, and then it cuts to everyone playing baseball outside, and the chick hits the baseball, and it goes into the building, and she runs inside to go find it. And it looks this like man. this man's just dead. Like the scene, <laughs> she opens the door and he, he hit him in the face. He's dead. There's the pool of blood. blood yeah. But, and she just grabs the baseball and she's like, oh, I got to creep out without him noticing. I, I Every time I see that scene, it always makes me fucking. And he just woke up. He's just like, huh? Yeah. I liked what she said about how a slugger, she was like, like a slugger's true, like thing is measured on how many windows you've broken. I was yeah. like, that was fire. That's Low so key, funny. I was like, that was a bar. Yeah. Yo, I can relate. Let's go. So I, you know. I was like, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's, that's pretty fucking funny. funny. But, um, yeah, so it turns out that that girl, him, and another dude, they're all like childhood friends. Uh, you find out that he sees everything through like a monochrome lens now. Everything's not as colorful anymore. And you start learning about how when he was younger, the only reason he played piano was because his mom was like a super talented pianist. But then she got sick and started making him train from a really early age. Like every fucking day, whenever he would mess up, she would like beat him and shit and yell at him. He was just like super harsh training conditions and stuff. And, uh, dude, just the kid being like, if it'll make you better, mom, like I'll play the piano when he's like a little tiny kid. Dude, that gets to me. But then she dies and he has a quote where he's like laying in bed and he's just like, he says, I hate the piano, but I can't let it go because I have nothing else. And at this point, it's like, that's, that's fucking heavy for a 14 year old to say that, dude. When you're like, mm-hmm. I have nothing else in my life. All I have is this. And I'm like, dude, you're 14. Like, what kind of shit have you gone through where you're already, like... That's anime for yeah. you. Because at that age, they've gone but, through everything in the world. But, <laughs> but if you look at, like, the storyline, you're like, you know there were kids out there that, like, saw that, and they were just like, I was the same way, dog. Like, you know mm-hmm. there were kids that, like, music was the only thing, and then something or other happened, and they couldn't do it anymore. Like, at a professional mm-hmm. level, but still... Could. Like, like... Like how many kids oh, play absolutely. basketball? Get injured. Yeah, or play, yeah, play sports, and then they get injured, so they can't go pro anymore. And it's like they have, like you can see it. They're like, I have nothing else. That I was gearing my whole life to that thing, and now I can't do that thing anymore. Like what's like, and just to see like a fourteen year old kid do that, I was like, fuck. That's and then right after it's like he's telling his mom like, oh, if it'll make you get better, mom, like I'll play the piano, I'll I'll be the best pianist ever. Just don't get sick and die, like that. Dude, that shit, mm-hmm. that shit hit me in the feels, dog. What mm-hmm. about you? Did you did you have that kind of response, or was it? Nah. Yeah. Um, I could definitely. <laughs> like I said, nah. like that I guy get... said. Like it's the guy said. Be, it's no, gonna nah, be it's different for not... everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this is you know, in terms of just like anime, you know, there right, right, you know, right. sad stories are in every single anime ever created. Facts. But like, I, I, <laughs> but I get it. But I get yeah, it. Yeah. But yes, like that was when when she found when we found out she was abusive. It was like, damn. Yeah. Um. Uh. I mean, I feel like this whole... is a an anime thing where like this trauma is much more relatable than like Ichigo and Bleach being like my mom's dead, but it's cool because I can fucking kill spirits. Oh, like, this yeah. is way... uh, this is this is real this, life. Yeah, That's this why. is gonna this hit a lot more. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna hit a lot more people different because it's like, oh shit, this is real. Like this is a real thing. It's a 
a kid who played this piano. could really happen yeah this could really happen yeah 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 you know uh, yeah yeah no i agree i definitely agree with that um the uh you know the 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 and <clears throat> netflix says it the categories are the categories of this mm -hmm. are monotone and colorful i right. found out it's like weird as shit like netflix just be having some fucking <laughs> weird ass <laughs> categories but I, in my head i'm like you guys literally just named it like what the show's a fucking about basically like <laughs> like they that category but like literally and then you do get to see in mm -hmm. here in this first episode that they talk about uh the uh i think that who said it either the girl well his, his neighbor who plays baseball right. or him said that like when you love someone your world you uh, they were like i heard when you when you're in love your world is filled with color right. so you know as soon as as soon as they say that you know what this whole thing about because the whole anime is very 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 colorful right and it's clearly for a reason and so and now for him like he sees everything in monochrome it's like well, he doesn't have happiness. Like he doesn't have love. Like he doesn't. But it's like so you could pick that up, um, like right away. That you know, like that's what the whole thing's about. Because the the whole the whole episode is just colorful as shit. Right. And then you know when you when you then you start understanding. Oh, like when they do certain scenes, like the scene where he is with his mom, it's all like dark colors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if that's something that you're into, then that's definitely, that's definitely in here. This is another music uh you know anime that deals with music uh right. but it, it, it but it, it, i don't know i haven't seen this whole thing but it but it, it seems like this one is more this one's more there's more drama in yep. this one than the last music one uh that we i forgot what Carolyn the last one yeah. was Tuesday, like this one is more like this one's feels like real. drama yeah. type shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this is some so, shit that you you could picture happening in your real life, and and none mm -hmm. of it would be crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um. So that's yeah. That's kind of that's that's gonna that's 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 what I got out of this. Um. You know, but but they you know they mentioned it was mentioned already that it's a romantic drama. Yeah. You know that's literally what it is. So right, right. Yeah. You know. It, and then the end of the episode, and it, it, it's the three of them, they're going on a double date because it's going to be the main dude and the and the childhood friend that's a girl. They're going as like a quote unquote couple, not as a real couple. It's like <clears throat> they're going to support their other childhood friend who's going on a date with some chick that's, you know, that they know. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. meet her and she, she turns out to be a violinist that she's going to a concert and wants them all to come check out her concert and shit. Mm -hmm. um, and she's she ends up being the main girl throughout the series that you watch. And she she plays classical music, right? Yeah, I remember yeah. them saying that like yep. she plays classical music, which is what he used to play. Yeah, so he was a pianist. He did piano, and she does the violin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, I feel like you can already tell, dog, like foreshadowing. Oh, of, I don't know what, but... dude. It's so sad. The fucking when you fit. So the the show is called Your Lie in April. And it the it the show revolves around a lie told in April. It's like super like the 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 name of the show and manga is literally what drives the whole thing. And when you figure out what that lie is, and you're just like, "Fuck, dude!" And the oh, ending, cool. I'm just like, "God damn it, dude!" I was just crying before the episode even started. Like, "Fuck, why is, <laughs> why is this shit so goddamn sad? God damn it!" Oh, it was bad. It was bad, but in a good way. It's a very dramatic, romantic show. I fucking, mm -hmm. I love this one. It's a, one of the good ones. It's one of those shows where you, if you tell people like, oh, have you seen Your Lie in April? If they say yes, they go, oh my God, that show's so sad. Like everyone who's seen the whole thing Ooh. is always like, fuck, that show's so sad. Like every single person who's seen it. Uh, so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What'd you, what'd you think of the first episode? Um, the first episode a rating yeah or like yeah, what yeah. i thought about it i mean there's not really once, much to one, talk about once it, you know? again it's just like yeah yeah one, once again once again i i i think this is another you know it was good yeah yeah like i'm i'm uh you know you just gonna get a b b minus from me that that to me b is good is you know you're in the clear yeah, you know yeah. you, you know you're good you know like uh right you right, know right, right. That's that's what that's what 
you know t- this is definitely a this gonna have to be down your lane type shit right like yeah, if, yeah. If, if you like that and then you enjoy these and you like these you this is gonna be you know your shit your thing yeah you know what oh, i'm yeah. saying yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying like i feel like this you know right so yeah it's, it's, it's just one of those so, you know it was, it was it was it had very good animation it was very colorful you know, right, there, right. Was, there was, there was, there was, there was good music. You know, there's classical music in there. You know, if that's if that's what you like, that's what you like. What would you give it? I give it a B plus. I think. Okay. Yeah. No, it was. I I like dramas, like romantic dramas. I love that shit, and that's literally what this show is. But also with music, and good music's good music. So I'm not gonna say no. Oh. But um, what? Yo, um, we should do a tier list. We should do a tier list of first episodes. A, that's a fire idea we'll do that next week because next that's... week is our final episode of the season <laughs> oh um, is it okay so I'll, I'll, I'll compile the list i'll have it i'll have it up Ooh, hell that's yeah. actually fire hell yeah nah we should definitely do that that's actually fire i'm down dog yeah no I think yeah, it's as a, a matter of fact what up? wait do you want to what up make that an episode or do you want to? Yeah, we can make it an episode. That's fine. Because like I a little feel like mini, that could be it. Yeah, like we could have like a mini episode where we like. Okay, that would be cool. We could yeah, yeah. we could talk more about that. Word. Um, but yeah, okay. Yeah. Word. So B B's all around for this one. Not bad. Pretty good. B's show. all around. Pretty good show. But you know what time it is now, Lawrence. Let's get it. Oh my God. I feel. Right. I, I saw... Are we tied now yet, or is no, it two you're, one? You're up three one. <laughs> Wait, do you have the score written down? Yo, put the score in the sure, chat, bro. I'm about to put this because I forget it. Uh, All right, yo, three one is the score. Yeah, cause cause uh, what's her name won last week? She uh, or two weeks ago? She Alice. won. Uh, she won. She won. She beat both of us. I I got last. I got two weeks ago, or last week. I forget. I only have I one. You got, I you know got, I you won. won last week, bro. You yeah, won last week. I got the color. You won last week. Right, right. Uh, so once again. So last week we only picked a color. This time are we going back to a color and a show? Let's do it. Color? Let's do I it. I feel like I feel like color is the Oh wait. Oh no, you're right. Cause not nah, nah, you're right. All right, which what are you picking? Oh dude, that double blue is looking tempting. What fucking double blue? Oh you see that? Just shit. Of the way it lines up. Ooh. Oh, and I said fairy tale like two weeks ago. I, didn't I think get you it, said though. it last week, I think. Oh, I might have said it last week. I didn't I get so. it though. I'm gonna go with uh Red Drifting Dragons. That's going to be me. Go with that Yo, one. bro, is God Eater good? What is that? Oh, man. We'll have to have a talk about that off air. <laughs> I have strong opinions about God Eater. <laughs> I feel like I'm... Um, all right, I'm going to go with Yellow. Okay. And I'm going to go with Fairy Tale again. Well, oh, that's in blue. Oh, my God. This man's, this man's monopolizing two things. Okay. okay. Well, well, yeah. Aren't you supposed to do that? Okay. It's, it's called a color and then any show you want. Oh, if you get the right. show, then you get two points, right? You know what? Fine. I'm going to go with red. I'm going to stick with red. But you know what? I'm going to pick for a show. I'm going to change it up because I picked a red one. I like the way you think, Lawrence. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go with God Eater because you mentioned it. So no mind oh. luck. That's what's going to come up. All right. You so ready? Wait, I already oh, forgot what I said. Yo, what did I say again? You said yellow, you said yellow and fairy tale. Oh, yellow and fairy tale. And right. I said red and god eater. Oh man. <laughs> I said yellow. Fairy Let's tale. see what it is. I said I already forgot what I said. Oh man. <laughs> oh, it's you, either you or me. You go to yellow. Oh, fuck. I got the point. All right, what three up? two. Three All two. Right, let me put that in there. Woo. Three right. two. Sirius the Jaeger. Nice. What is what, what 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 are we dealing with? We're de- we're dealing with Sirius the Jaeger cancer. That's uh that what, one... what genres is this? Action. Off the top of your head. Action, for sure. Okay. Is right. it on Netflix? Yes, sir. That's that's where I found it. Uh, oh, okay. I'm trying to remember. It's not a zombie, it's um um Oh, also fun facts, I'm pretty sure is it the same? No, it's not the same studio. Uh uh Vampires. That's what it is. I was like, it's I know it's a creature, I, I, but I was like, it's not zombies, it's something else. It's vampires. Oh, it's vampire shit? Yeah, it's vampire shit. So there you go. All right. All right, so so you heard it here, guys. Next week, we have a Sirius the Jaeger. That'll be a good time. For sure, for sure. Sirius the Jaeger. 
Hell All right, yeah. guys. Thank you for tuning in. For sure. And uh, we'll, we'll catch y'all next week. Sounds like a plan. See ya. <laughs>